Matt, we've heard the storm being called a bomb cyclone. What yeah, is that? That's right. We're <laughs> going to explain that uh, because it is something that requires explaining. You can see the storm really well here and it is intense. It is been deepening and strengthening all night long and it's going to make landfall within a couple of hours somewhere on the southern Oregon coast. But again, this has been called a bomb cyclone or bombogenesis is the is the process that leads to this kind of development. So here's what that means as we look at this storm and what that means. Bombogenesis genesis requires that the central pressure of the storm, which is a measure of how strong a storm is. Same thing with a hurricane, same thing with winter storms. The lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. It needs to drop 24 millibars in 24 hours. And let me try to put that into perspective for you. That's a lot. We hardly ever see even oh half of that in 24 hours would be a lot. So if you see that kind of development and that kind of a pressure drop, you know that the storm is becoming very strong, very rapidly. And when you get rapid intensification like that, bad things happen. You get really intense pre uh, precipitation and really strong winds as well. So this storm, not only is it a bomb cyclo, it's also historic because the track and the intensity, the combination of those two things hasn't been seen in 40 years. So we haven't seen a storm take this track from northwest to southeast and hit the southern Oregon coast with this kind of an intensity in at least that long. We've seen that track for much weaker storms. We've seen strong storms like this move up the coast, but not in this direction. So it does make it unique in the last several decades, and it really is impressive. Now, in Doppler radar, they're getting hammered with snow down in southern Oregon. I was just looking at some of the sky cams down there. Us here in Northern Oregon, on the other hand, we're drying out. We don't have any watches or warnings in the Portland area, so we get to dry out. Already, though, 106 mile hour wind gusts on the Southern Oregon coast. We'll see improvement Wednesday, but um, as Morgan was telling us, uh, don't travel until later tomorrow. It's going to take time the roads down there, including I-5 into California, to get into better shape. Ladies?